Chat with Chat GPT number two. Does this mean that in the future, compensation for income may no longer be in the form of currency? Yes, in the future, compensation for income may not necessarily be limited to currency. This is driven by the evolution of technology and the emergence of new values. There are already increasing cases of value being exchanged in forms other than currency. Here are some possibilities for the future. Trading data and time. A future where personal data, behaviors, and time can be traded is conceivable. As data becomes more significant, providing it could serve as direct compensation. In such transactions, payment may not necessarily be in the form of money, data itself could hold exchange value. Crypto economy and tokenization. With the advancement of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, digital assets and tokens are becoming more widespread as alternatives to traditional currency. Unlike traditional money, these digital assets have unique value and circulate in their own economies. For example, as with NFTs, non-fungible tokens, digital art and content themselves are traded as valuable assets. Economy based on values and community trust. In the future, within certain communities or networks, trust, or, reputation, might be traded like currency. Trust and relationships could hold direct value, potentially creating a new economic system that supports individuals' income and livelihoods based on these elements. These changes go beyond the traditional economic system based on physical labor and monetary exchanges, giving rise to new forms of value exchange and reward systems. The role of currency may shift, and alternative methods of gaining value are likely to expand in the future. Among these, how many people globally, approximately what percentage of humanity, are aware of the ones that have already started? Also, are there any countries where these topics have been incorporated into the educational curriculum and are already being taught to students? Some of these new value exchange and economic models have already begun in certain fields, but global awareness varies depending on the level of technological adoption and regional factors. Although it's difficult to provide specific numbers, the following overview explains the situation. Crypto economy and tokenization, cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology are relatively well known, especially in developed countries and among digital native generations. For example, as of 2023, approximately 10% of the global adult population is estimated to own cryptocurrency, indicating that many people also have related knowledge. Adoption in educational institutions, in some countries, universities, and vocational schools already offer courses on blockchain and cryptocurrency. For instance, top universities in the United States, like Stanford and MIT, have courses covering the fundamentals of blockchain technology and the digital economy. In Japan, some universities also provide blockchain-related classes. Data trading. Awareness of the value of personal data is growing, but the actual practice of individuals trading their own data remains limited. While many people realize that major platforms like Google and Facebook monetize personal data, the general understanding of individuals directly trading their own data is still relatively low. Adoption in educational institutions. Education on personal. Data handling is advancing, though institutions specifically teaching data trading are limited. However, courses on digital privacy and data ethics are offered at universities and vocational schools in Europe, with potential for further expansion. Economy based on values and trust. The concept of a reputation-based economy is developing, though it remains quite new, with relatively few people currently monetizing it. For example, platforms like Airbnb and Uber place a high value on trust and reputation, which play a crucial role in earning rewards. However, going beyond this to where trust itself is traded is not yet common. Adoption in educational institutions, education on this topic is not yet systematically widespread. However, future economic models are under research, and some sociology and economics courses are beginning to explore these ideas. Overall awareness, the percentage of people familiar with these concepts is concentrated primarily among those at the forefront of technology and economics, as well as digital native generations. In developing countries and regions with slower technological development, knowledge of these concepts is still limited. On a global scale, understanding of these new value exchange models might be only a few percent. While advanced nations have started integrating research and education on future economic models and technologies in some educational institutions, it is not yet widely adopted globally.
However, as technology continues to evolve, it is expected that these concepts will increasingly be incorporated into education in the future.